we had today the industry event on the impact of PEP on uh, EU capital markets and sustainable pensions income, uh, co-organized by Finance Latvia, the European Commission, the Free Trade Union Confederation and NASDAQ. And the discussion centered on the uh, recently adopted PEP, the impact we foresee on the pensions product the governance across the EU and specifically in the Baltics and in Latvia, as well as the um, investment uh, choices uh, that the PEP uh, would allow uh, and that's a fantastic feature in the new, new product uh, that we can definitely continue the discussions locally uh, how to embed in our national pensions uh, system. Uh, we also centered uh, on the uh, provisions on tax incentives for PEP. Uh, there was quite a bit of interest from the industry participants of the event on the recommendation that the European Commission has issued on, on this aspect and importantly also on the transparency and the fee uh, cap uh, at 1% uh, that the uh, new regulation has introduced. And also very clearly uh, the discussion um, uh, focused on the proposals that Finance Latvia has made on the capital markets development here in, uh, in Latvia and in the Baltics and also on the proposals that we've made on the improvements to the second pillar pension system and the uh, opening up of uh, further investment opportunities by both the second and the third pillar pension funds in Latvia. Uh, I am pleased that less than three weeks ago as a final PEP text was adopted by European Parliament. Now the only remaining step before the law can be adopted is the Council's approval, which is expected by June of this year. In the meantime, the Commission will work closely with EOPA, the European Insurance and Occupational Pension Supervisor, on the implementation of PEP. Uh, PEP will provide a voluntary option for people to save for their pensions alongside their occupational and state-based uh, pen, uh, pensions uh, systems available today. Uh, if we get this right, PEP will be an important step towards single market for personal pensions. It will help to build a capital markets union and it will help us to reach the pension gap. Well, today I think we had a good discussion on, on, on what, what PEP is and what it can become and uh, certainly it raised the, the need to have a discussion on, on exactly how much are EU citizens uh, supposed to rely on the first and second pillar uh, pension arrangements and then how much uh, should one uh, uh, on top of that invest in the third pillar. And, uh, and that's really the starting point and then obviously if the answer or as the answer is that there is typically I would say across all EU member states there is a need to also uh, complement your pension, I mean the mandatory pension savings with some kind of a voluntary product, then obviously that's where, where, where PEP can really make a, make a big difference and the need for a big difference is really there as, as today the, uh, the EU markets are very fragmented in terms of pension savings. So, uh, so, so if, if PEP succeeds as, as planned, uh, then it really has the potential to, uh, to, to, to close the kind of, or at least narrow the funding gap that we today have in the, in the, when it comes to pensions uh, in light of the uh, demographics, demographics in, in the EU being not that, not that um, uh, good looking uh, in terms of uh, uh, aging population and low birth rates and all that. So. The Financial Industry Association position on capital market development uses a much broader approach. More precisely, an important element of our social security system is being added to the discussion. The second pillar of pensions. The overall framework of the position consists of European Commission action plan for the establishment of a capital market union and the Latvian financial sector development plan for 2017-2019. The feedback from the association regarding development of instruments for expanding investment opportunities for Latvian state-funded pensions is positive. Finance Latvia Association has developed uh, several proposals for improvements of the second pension pillar and the third pension pillar and uh, investment in our environment in general in Latvia. The other proposals goes to the investment environment um, you know, that would facilitate more investments in Baltic region as for example to separate from the venture capital uh, those investments which goes in the um, real estate and setting them separate limit uh, because uh, those are uh, less risky 
risky and not really uh, comparable to the equity market and also separate the hedge funds which are another risk class and giving them a decent uh, share of the maximum share of the portfolio will increase the uh, uh, the, the investments in the local in, uh, environment and also benefit uh, our customers the pen, uh, future pensioners with uh, some more diversified uh, diversified investments if you look on the pep perspective uh, finance latvia is definitely supporting uh, the pep uh, regulation because it gives the equal opportunity for different market financial market participants to offer the pension savings be it the bank life insurance company the asset management company or the pension fund and uh, and, and by enriching the uh, the offer range uh, would also benefit the customers by decreasing the fees and and uh, making the products more flexible and and uh, uh, tangible for uh, for the customers and i think that this is a very good initiative and that's uh, in that sense